In this video, we will go through the compulsory algebra questions from one CXC CSEC paper to examination. To get the most out of this video, pause it here and attempt each part. If you are stuck on any, check the description below for the link to the video that covered that topic. Check out my playlist for comprehensive coverage of the topic algebra. Post a comment. Let me know how you are managing. Last chance to pause the video. Okay, let's go. 2a part 1. Solve for x. 8 subtract x is less than or equal to 5x plus 2. We want all the x's on one side and all the numbers on the other side. So let's carry this 5x to the left hand side. We are going to subtract 5x from both sides. 8 minus x subtract 5x is less than or equal to 5x plus 2 minus 5x. Minus x minus 5x is equal to negative 6x. So we get 8 minus 6x is less than or equal to 5x minus 5x is 0. So we remain with only 2. We want to carry across the 8. So we're going to subtract 8 from both sides. Eight subtract eight is zero, so you have minus six x. It's less than or equal to negative six. We're going to divide both sides by negative one. Remember, with inequalities, when we divide by a negative number, the sign reverses. So negative six x divided by negative one is greater than or equal to negative six divided by negative one. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, so positive 6x is greater than or equal to 6. We divide by 6 to get x is greater than or equal to 1. Part 2. Show your solution to above on the number line below. x is greater than or equal to 1. So the values that x can take goes from 1 and above. Continues in this direction. And we shade the circle at 1 to show that 1 is included. B. Expand and simplify. 2x multiplied by x is 2x squared. 2x by 5 is positive 10x. Minus 3 by x is negative 3x. Negative 3 by negative 4 is positive 12. 2x squared. Positive 10x. Subtract 3x is positive 7x. Plus 12. Part C. Simplify. 3x squared multiplied by 4x cubed. 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12. x squared multiplied by x cubed is equal to x to the fifth power. Remember, when we are multiplying numbers with the same base, we add the indices all over 2x. 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. And x to the fifth power divided by x to the first power is equal to x to the fourth power. Part D. x plus 1 over 2 added to 5 minus x over 5. We're going to express both fractions over the LCM. The LCM of 2 and 5 is 10. We have to multiply 2 by 5 to get 10. So we multiply the numerator by 5 as well. And we added to the second fraction over 10 as well. 5 multiplied by 2 is 10, so we multiply the numerator by 2. Now that both fractions are over the same denominator, we can just add the numerators together. We have 5 multiplied by x plus 1, added to 2 multiplied by 5 minus x. Expand in brackets. 5 multiplied by x is 5x. 5 multiplied by 1 is 5. 
positive 2 multiplied by 5 is positive 10 and positive 2 multiplied by negative x is negative 2x all over 10 5x minus 2x is equal to 3x and 5 plus 10 is equal to 15 and the numerator can be factorized further the HCF is 3 into x plus 5 over 10 and part E factorized completely we recognize here that 4x squared is a square term 2x squared and 4 is 2 squared but we need to recognize in this one to get full marks that we should factorize by HCF first factorizing by HCF the HCF of 4x squared and 4 is 4 4 into x squared to get 4x squared subtract 1 now x squared minus 1 is difference of squares and the factors of x squared minus 1 are x minus 1 x plus 1 for completeness let me show you why a difference of square factorization would not have given the final answer we would have recognized that 4x squared is equal to 2x squared and 4 is equal to 2 squared so we would have written 2x minus 2 multiplied by 2x plus 2 and move on without thinking about it but we need to see that 2x minus 2 can be further factorized because there's an HCF here which is 2 so we get 2 multiplied by x minus 1 and similarly 2x plus 2 can be factorized by HCF to get 2 multiplied by x plus 1 so we have 2 multiplied by x minus 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by x plus 1 which gives 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 4 by x minus 1 x plus 1 which is the same answer so to factorize completely for full marks we need to get to 4 multiplied by x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1 and stopping at 2x minus 2 multiplied by 2x plus 2 isn't the complete answer I am Mr. Dubey if you found this video useful please like this video if you are new to this channel please subscribe Join me in the next video.